Hi guys, day five of isolation. Uh, country is on lockdown. The weather is perfect for car modifications. So uh, just doing a few bits on the roads there, tackling the first jobs. So the, the issue that I had with the ram on the roof, I've now connected it where it's supposed to be, but where it connects is still loose. So I need to strip it down further. But once I've um, once I've done the next few bits that I'm doing, I'll jump start it and, and see if at least it functions now, um, which I haven't even tested yet. Um, but so now I'm going to be doing the brake, see if I can get the pedal fill. So this is where the, uh, the two blade nipples for the master cylinder live. Those two there. So for access to get at those to actually sort of bleed them normally, it's quite difficult really so i'm going to take this off so we can get straight down onto it uh, and yeah oh, i've also got this that needs fixing this is the level sender for the brake fluid so that needs resolving uh yeah so i'm gonna whip that strut brace off and then yeah a few other little jobs to tackle let's see if i'm either going to need just to bleed the whole system or whether i need a new master cylinder I'm hoping i don't need a new master cylinder but let's see what happens I'm gonna undo these, I'm gonna undo this one. Once this is off, I'm also gonna take this part of the bracket off, which will give me the access that I want. So now I'm gonna get in there and crack the bleeding was off. This can be quite difficult to get onto. And get angle for you to be able to see it. There we go. Once it's uh, that, these things cracked. Why can't I just. Uh, such an awkward angle for everything. There we go. Spin the tube. It'll just have lead in. That's not a very good sign. There's no bubbles in that. Which for what I was hoping, I was hoping there'd be a lot. But there is no bubbles. Hmm. Okay, time to bleed the second nipple. Now I'll be honest with you, when I do the rear one, I have got no way of getting a spanner onto that with a tube over the end. There's just no way of getting to it. So, it's a little bit messy. I'd put a seven mil socket onto it, crack it off, and leave it for a good few seconds for it to clear out. Any downsides of that is you can't see if there was any bubbles, but uh, once you do the functionality test, you'll know whether it's worked anyway. So I've done that. should be going rock solid with the engine off. But it's not, I can nearly push all the way to the floor. So that's either there's loads of air in the lines or the master's knackered. Uh, but I'm getting some resistance, so I'm hoping I'm just compressing air as I'm doing that. So next up, get it up in the air, bleed all four corners, flush all the fluid out. Quick tip if you need to get in the boot and there's no power, on the roadster, the thing you need is there. Oh. oh, isn't this nice? Ugh. Well, the calipers have definitely been changed at some point. So, 
Were they just not bled properly when they were changed? Who knows? Oh, this one's tight. Hmm. Okay, that's not doing anything. I might guess it is. Might have a bit of blockage in the nipple. No, nipple feels fine. Hmm, this could be lots of air being pushed out, who knows? How weird. Try and push the pedal and film. There we go, it's kickstart the process. Yeah, it looks alright that does now. So we'll just leave that for a minute or two. Uh, well, I'm going to leave that till it's done about 250 mil through the system because uh, that's plenty to make sure there's no air in that line and I'll move over to the other one. So, uh, yeah, advantage of using the big long hose like this, you see the difference between old and new at different ends of the line. Uh, it's a gradual change, but you will see the difference between the nice sort of clear, slightly yellow to the old dark and greeny, browny, murky stuff. Yeah, so this side looks fine. Last one down it now. I'm also greeted by Phoebe who has just disappeared. In these troubled times maybe maybe that's dinner. Oh yeah, if this needs a new master, I don't know whether it's worth doing. So I'm starting to look at the rest of the bodywork on it in a bit more detail and uh, just not very good hmm this might take a bit of investment yeah we'll see but might have a leak somewhere Only an ever so slight one. Has it got any firmer? Or can you still press it all the way down? Still okay, that's fine. Groove's not working. Yeah. That's going to require some investigation. Well, that's supposed to be on there. So, yeah, that's good, isn't it? That's a fun one to fix. That really is. Oh, really didn't want to have to be doing hydraulics for the roof. Good stuff. I've had a look under the entire car. I can't see where it's leaking at all, which leads me to think that the fluid is leaking past the seal in the master cylinder, which would make sense. <sighs> so, yeah. If uh, I can find someone that's got a good second-hand one that's in good condition, uh, I might take the gamble, but it's a few hundred quid for a genuine one. Close to what I paid for the car. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see whether that gets done or not. Uh, anyway, that'll do for today. Uh, yeah, there's no point in me even starting up to see what else is going on. Uh, let me just show you a quick little fix that I'm doing on the gearbox. Bushes that live inside there are dead. Um, that's part of the shifter assembly. So I need to uh, drop the gearbox down slightly, take this part of the mat out so that I can get into there to clean the old remnants out properly. 
but yeah, those have well, the aluminium's corroded, so the plastic's like just expanded on itself because it has like a little relief cut in the, the bush, so it's all just really tight, won't come out. Uh, it's all yeah, knackered, so that needs to clean out and do bushes in there for the gear selector to work properly. Um, I've done a little other little video on that, I might be able to put the clips into this and show you. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today. I think I'm gonna go and uh, do some editing and get this online because it usually takes weeks and weeks and weeks before they end up online, but this could actually be online today. Who knows? Anyway, cheers guys. Uh, tune in next time. We'll see what else we can get up to.